Hello and welcome to the video with me, you winner and Jade Spicky have a lot of last time where I took over Colombia and all the other countries over here around the Caribbean, as you can see here, which did include Spain, because Spain had four provinces over here. So I went and took over all of Spain as well. And well, that's basically all I actually did in the previous episode besides slotting troops over here on the border with Kakistan, considering, well, China's taking over Kakistan. So I now I have to align troops along that part of my border over here as well. Because, yeah, got troops along my entire border to China already. So I need to add that onto it, considering I am pretty sure I'm going to have to fight a war with China to take them over. Which I will be doing in this episode. But I want China to actually finish their war here with Kazakhstan. So, yeah. Philippines first. Let's deal with them. Send a few insults here so I can send an ultimatum. Considering I highly doubt I'll need to actually send troops to attack them. Considering, um, yeah. 200,000 troops. 200,000 population. And 40,000 economy. I have 850,000 troops. So, I highly doubt they're going to refuse this. If they did, they are absolutely insane. Thinking that they actually stand any kind of chance against me. There we go. Good. They're not stupid or insane. There. Spend a few turns here doing the province stability. And I guess start checking on province stability that I for all of this land I got last episode. And start working on all of it. Why well, wait to see something pop over here? Just say that China's war is over. I guess. Okay, at some point during that, China did actually finish their war, so yeah. I am now good, I guess. And China even insulted me. Yay! Okay, so, China, you're next. Time for this ultimatum to go to you. Go and demand all Vietnam and Laos down there. And everything else here, of course. And of course, that turn, some rebels popped up over there. Yeah, let's try to deal with that first before I actually go and do this. Okay, there we go. All with China. And keep in mind that 40% of China's economy is in these two provinces. Yeah, all the way down here. China's not very smart, as you can tell. They really aren't very smart. Putting go and go 40% of their economy right here in just two provinces, the furthest away from their capital, basically, except for what they just got over there in Kakistan, basically. So let's go and take over all of this here. And do the full scale invasion. Okay, so that's all of that down there. And I also have these ships over here that I can send the course. So start invasion from those two cities. Okay, good. So turn one and already 20% of China's economy is under my control. Yeah. They really don't stand a chance. So now what's remaining makes that 26% and 15% on that island. Yeah. 5% on that island as well. Yeah, they don't know how to spread out that economy of theirs at all. I 
think these troops will go and take that island and jump over there, since they know, won't really have anything else to do once they get off Vietnam. Okay, 7,000 there, and 2,500 there. So, basically 10,000 troops. Sure. I think I can deal with that. So just one province there now. Sure, sure. Um, ports in this area. Definitely need to build some, since there's basically none along this entire coastline for Vietnam. Those troops can go over to take that island. These troops will jump over to take that one. All the rest of the troops continue moving this direction, I guess. While I try to spread these troops out a bit as well. Okay, so just one province left that's controlled by rebels over here now. So good job for China dealing with that, I guess. Um, let's see. I already did everything else, didn't I? Yeah. And all these troops that have areas that I still have troops have a port being built. Yep. Okay, good. So, yeah, that's this turn done. Don't exactly know what else I'm going to do with all these troops. Considering once I get those two done, yeah, I just don't know where to send them. I guess I could try and get them up here to deal with that quickly. Hmm. I guess. Oh, great. Another group of rebels. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about this. Ah. Huh. Okay, sure. I can just recruit troops over here to deal with this, really. Not that hard to do. Plus, there'll be a bit of backup for these troops. Okay, good, I think. Those troubles got five provinces. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's basically half of China under my control already. I just need to deal with this over here. Hope that they don't continue moving over this direction, I guess. Let some more troops built up over here, just to make sure I can actually get those provinces there. Because if I attack right now, China may actually get enough troops to defend them. Okay. Just out one single province there now. And deal with those rebels. And all that will be done, and all that's left will be over here. And I uh, still got this half of that island to my control, so just send those ships there, and the rest will be done. And also start sending more of those ships that direction. I need to build a port on this island so I can get the ships off of it. Okay. Continue moving all these ships forward, of course. Try and keep them up with the front line. Not really anything we can do about like 900 troops that are sitting there, though. Okay, so since all that's actually left over here, are these troubles? I'll go towards myself and wipe them out. So I don't have to deal with them. Getting actual independence or something, I'm gonna have to go to war with them or whatever. Afterwards. Um, let's see. Nothing else here to do this turn, I think. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot that bug. Okay. So, China now has all those troops I just sent to attack those provinces. 
Yeah, I completely forgot about that bug. Uh, so that's 20, 35,000 troops China now has. Great. Do I even have that many troops left over here? Start sending troops back that way, I guess. Uh, great. Seriously, that is one, definitely one of the most annoying bugs of the game. Okay, so... Yeah. Try and get as many of these troops going that way as I can now, I guess. So hopefully their economy has actually been reduced to the point where they will just get rid of the majority of those troops, I guess. Considering they only have 80,000 left for an economy, 40% of it being that single province. Then everything else is spread out evenly with throughout the rest of their provinces, basically. And then they just got a few provinces with tons of developments. Most of which I've actually taken over already. Nice. Um, yeah, let's go. Hence that turn. I'm already practically next to Beijing. Okay. Yeah, going by how many troops I'm seeing right there, they have basically dismissed all the troops or something at this point. Which is good. Means I'm not going to have to actually fight all those troops that that bug gave to them. Okay, so continue moving all these troops now as well. And I have taken Beijing. Great. Okay, so I got all this cleaned up and all the troops moving towards the Sleepless Bowl over there. Since I have no more use for them at this point, and the rest of my troops are kind of just starting to group up over here. Basically, I finish everything up. There we go. So, group up the rest of my troops all over here. There we go. 100,000 troops lost in that war? Okay, sure. Um, take all of that land. And, yeah. I guess I'll just be doing the tons of province ability now. At this point. All dealing with rebellions that are going to be popping up over in Pakistan. Because that's definitely something that's going to happen. Considering, yeah, it's already did. All these rebellions are purely going to be due to the fact that China is going crazy. Pl plundering all these provinces during that war with Pakistan. Um. Okay. Switzerland took over France. Apparently. Yeah, I did not see that happening. Huh. But then again... France didn't really have an economy, apparently. Well, then no, Switzerland did. About a fifth of that is Switzerland's population. Huh. I guess it kind of makes sense. I'm not exactly sure, but it's happened, and there's barely anything left of France now. So I guess I could have Bulgaria to actually finish that area off. And I could annex those two islands, maybe. Hmm. 
But I have actually finished all the province ability over here, finally. So, yeah. Next up, Taiwan. Go and send insults to them right now. They have a very large economy, considering how large their country is. 385,000 economy. And only seven provinces. There is actually a chance they may not accept this, I think. Okay. They did. Good. Don't have to fight them and lose all that economy. So, all that's really left is Mongolia, South Korea, and Japan. And all of this over here will be done. So, um, starting off with uh, Japan, I guess. Sure. Also, I only have like 300,000 troops, yeah. Is that enough to take over Japan, considering I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to fight a war with them as well? I'm definitely going to want to take that province, considering that's 40% of their economy. Um, and they probably also want to take that, considering that's another 16%. So, wipe out their economy. But that's there by attacking right to the middle of their country, basically. They have tons of development. Okay. Let's go ahead and send an ultimatum just to see if they'll actually accept or not. I honestly did not expect them to accept that. They had like 3 million population and that large of an economy. Their economy is like a tenth of the size of mine, and mine's massive! Because they basically control the entire world at this point. Jeez. I really did not expect them to accept that. They are actually pretty strong, I think. Especially due to the fact that they haven't actually expanded at all. They have literally just stayed over here on their island. Islands, I guess. So, South Korea now, and Mongolia. There we go. Okay, I think we have to actually bring up those taxes again. Because I'm practically out of money at, at this point. Running through all of it, doing this province ability. Okay, so, there we go. Um, France still has all that, so have Bulgaria deal with that province. While I then go and send an ultimatum to France to take these two provinces to get that island under my control. There we go. Good. That is France dealt with, with an exception to what they now have. What's left of them. Yeah, why did you have to split them up like that, Switzerland? Why? Could have taken that there and just left a few more provinces for France up here. Could have done that, you know. Eh, uh, okay. Sure, whatever. Um, let's see. So, uh, next up, I guess, at this point is... Italy. Think over what's left of them over here. And send insults to Ukraine. And send an insult to them. I mean, ultimatum to them. And now, I guess... Bulgaria. Send insults to them. Ah, Bulgaria! You've been a good... 
good vassal that's never really even tried to get independence from me, but your time of usefulness is over. Sorry. It is time for you to be annexed. Okay, there's rebels over here, sure. Okay, so... I went through and dealt with all the province builds. I didn't get all the way up to 100% and everything, basically, for the most part. So, yeah, I basically have all that done. Basically just need to do what you can see there. And I also recruited more troops and also lined up my entire army on Russia's border. Which these areas where you can't actually, I don't actually have them there yet, are still just heading there. Got troops heading over here to deal with fill that in as well, and well, I ended up with this many extra troops plus another like 20,000 over there, so I'm thinking of just going ahead and taking your Switzerland and France just to finish all this off so that all that's really left is just Russia and then all these other countries, Finland and Sweden, what's left of Denmark, Saxony, Estonia, Latvia. Which I'm honestly still wondering why Russia still hasn't actually taken over Latvia or Estonia over here. But they haven't, so yeah. Going to have to take them over later. So, um... Let's do this. Get the Switzerland under my control and do the same for... France. No. France took over that country. Okay, I don't care. About that land they have over there. Okay. Got all of this. Good. So I now just need to... Fill it all up. Two province built and everything here. Send troops. Yeah. So quickly go through and do all this now, and I will be finished with this episode. Okay, so now I have like an extra 20,000 troops still. So, um, hmm, where do I send these? Okay. Just put them over here, I guess, and they can deal with all the ton of islands that Russia is taking. Get those there, the Isle of Man, Iceland, and that province. There. Maybe deal with Denmark, that one, and... Okay, they don't have that, but they also do have all these islands as well. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And, of course, go through do my normal thing when it comes to ports, which I have not done at all for any of this land over here in Europe yet. Great. Okay, there we go. Got all the ports and everything that I've done as normal. And apparently Ireland has actually united all of Ireland and created the Kingdom of Ireland now. Who is at war with the United States? Just why do I keep seeing the United States as war as countries? They managed to get peace with Russia over here, so... Yeah, Russia's not at war anymore, and Russia didn't lose anything either. And the United States didn't lose anything, so that war is completely pointless. Let me guess. Nope. Russia... The United States was not the one to start this war. Okay, sure. This war has apparently been going on for three years already as well. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Just let troops line up along the rest of that border here. There we go. That is done. So, next episode, I will be going towards Russia. And taking them over completely. Yeah. And this is a very long border I have with Russia now. 
Jeez. So many troops in that border. But of course, after Russia, I'll basically clean up the rest of Europe, I guess, very quickly. And then, final episode, the Great United States. I guess. So, two more episodes, I think. That's all that's really left of this episode of this series, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll be the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.